in today's situation, when many people are having to work from home, many of our customers have asked about SharePoint and AutoCAD, um, which enables people to collaborate on the cloud. Most offices, many offices have already um, got 365, sorry, Office 365, which will uh, enable them to collaborate um, with AutoCAD without a lot of expenses. Um, so just about this webinar, it's going to be a short um, 30 minutes webinar. So I'm not going to go in detail of how it is done step by step or showing on the software itself. It will be an overall kind of webinar. Um, if you have any questions during my webinar, you can always ask them by opening a question and answer window uh, on your uh, Zoom. Um, Zoom. Uh, and I'll um, answer your questions at the end of the webinar. I just want to introduce myself. So my name is Bikal Kimire. I'm technical consultants at A2K Technologies. I have been with A2K for the last four years. Uh, I'm an architect by background, and before joining A2K, I used to work in an architecture firm. Uh, um, I've been using AutoCAD uh, for a very, very long time. I'm Autodesk certified trainer. I'm Autodesk certified professional in AutoCAD and Revit architecture. Just a um, quick background of my of A2K. The infrastructure building, mining, uh, construction, and manufacturing industries are the cornerstones of our world. Great cities and nations are defined by the vision of architects, engineers, planners, designers, and builders to shape our community. A2K Technologies plays a vital role in helping these industries reach their full potential by delivering complex technology solutions and support services such as education, consulting, IT management. And A2K also is the fifth largest uh, global partner for A2, uh, Autodesk. So A2K has a great foot, uh, footprint throughout ANG region and one of the largest Autodesk partners in the world. A2K is considered the business partner of choice and trusted advisor by our vendors and clients. We partner with major software and hardware vendors, including Autodesk, Microsoft, HP, Lenovo, Beam, MEP, AUS, Unity, Ultimaker, uh, to meet our, meet our clients' technology needs. We strive to exceed client expectations by understanding their challenges and delivering solutions through experience and innovation. So for using SharePoint, there are a few different uh, ways you can use SharePoint to access the files. One, the first one is to uh, directly download it from the browser. Um, second one is the ability to sync, synchronize the folder. Third one is using a third party app called WebDAV that will map a network drive to the cloud. And the fourth one, which I am increasingly starting to like more and more, is AutoCAD web and mobile app. So AutoCAD web, um, app is a, a light like a, it's a web uh, version of autocad and it it's, it lets you edit the drawings draw edit referencing and all the stuff you can we, we can you can just work on any browser uh, on the internet it's very light and it also supports like um, uh, um, onedrive which in uh, which works with the sharepoint so you can share, use open sharepoint uh, files from the uh, free app that you get with AutoCAD subscription, okay, AutoCAD Wave. Okay, so let's go one by one. So the, for the first one is to um, download from the browser. So to do, do that, you just go to your SharePoint uh, website on the, uh, just going to the SharePoint on the, um, on the cloud. Then you um, create your um, uh, project, you know, and then uh, add, add the people in there. And once you have done that, you can then um, download from the browser. And the uh, advantages of downloading from the browser is the ability to check out and check in the drawings. So you can check out that will uh, disable other people to overwrite the drawings that you are working on. So you can check out and other people can't work on that file anymore. Then you just work and, um, on the downloaded for, for a file on your computer. Once your work is finished, you upload back and check out. That way it updates. And um, then 
um, you know, you can put it in the internet. And also when you upload, um, it keeps the versioning. So you get uh, version one, version two, version three, edit every time you upload the drawings. So you can go back and forth between different versions. You can also put comments uh, with all, uh, with every updates as well. So it's good for working with the main drawing files, okay? Um, because it make, makes sure only one person is working on the file at one time. So download from the browser has these advantages. So the, the screenshot that you see in the, in the bottom shows uh, who is the person who modified the file, what date, and what comments were put on the file. So you can see all of these um, by downloading from the browser. So the next one is folder sync. So that will uh, automatically download all the uh, folder files on your desktop. And the uh, good thing about it is uh, you don't need to download, you don't need to upload. Files are always synced with your computer. Okay, there's also an option to always keep the uh, files on the device so as to force sync all the time. Uh, do, uh, during our test, we found a few of the issues uh, with those with these things. Some of them are, um, we found that multiple people could work on the same file, uh, that, uh, but um, when they decide to save it back, uh, what happens is like, they, it doesn't let you overwrite, but then uh, it will create a new file with the initial of the person who is, um, uh, open the file, so it doesn't really tell you that file is being used. Okay, so uh, this is this is the file somebody has checked out, but then somebody else opened the same file. When that person tried to save it back, then it has put puts the initial of that person, and it's up to you which one do you want to you know keep as current. Uh, there, so there are some small uh, issues like that. Um, that um, the reason for that is the way AutoCAD saves the file uh, as well. Uh, when you um, and, uh, uh, lock out the AutoCAD file, uh, actually you are locking out the back file. Okay, that's what happens. Uh, to get around this issue, I have found that if you uh, disable um, backup files, then some of them, some of these issues uh, are fixed. Okay, so you just have to disable the backup option on the uh, on AutoCAD, and that usually fix some of these issues. File locker are uh, not locking. So this this issue is. Um, from the browser checkout of that consistently. I have, um, I have heard that this is going to be fixed very soon with the latest updates. So that's not a big issue. It's going to be resolved very soon. Okay. And um, so there are, there are a few issues and there are a few workarounds to get, uh, get, around, get around these issues as well. Uh, so there's ability to um, see what files have been locked. So you can um, files check status and all these things you can see on your, on your screen. Okay, so the first and the last issues um, usually is resolved by um, disabling the backup files. Um, and a few other issues are going to be fixed very soon with the, uh, more, uh, more updates. So the third one is WebDA. So it just maps your uh, SharePoint drive. Um, drive. So it uh, works like a network drive. So the advantages for that is um, you can just share all, put all your files directly on the cloud. You don't have to sync the file in a computer and then you know it reduces the um, uh, required storage space on your device, okay? Uh, disadvantage is file locking will not be observed. Uh, ability to have multiple people work on the same file accidentally, okay? And there are some issues, you still say, these are some stability issues as well with that cloud option. The last one that is that comes with AutoCAD itself. So it is if you have a subscription to AutoCAD, you also get this AutoCAD web and mobile um, or web application for free. Okay, so if you just have to sign in to www.webautocad.com and log in with your Autodesk credentials, once you log in, you get like a simplified AutoCAD interface in the cloud. Okay. And you can just, you know, it has all these tools, like you can see in the screenshots, all the move, you know, chamfer, fillet, trim, all these basic tools are you know, already there. It also supports the referencing, which was very, very good. Um, it works with layers and all that's like a simplified version. You can view the files and all this stuff, uh, stuff as well. And uh, the great thing is the ability to add the stories, uh, other stories, like you can link it with your OneDrive, so SharePoint basically, with Dropbox and other, other options. So once you add it, add it there, you can just then um, 
um, you know, just use that, open those files on the web app as well. Okay, and you can associate it with the AutoCAD mobile app. So now I'm going to talk about um, SharePoint and AutoCAD recommended workflow. So I would use, um, uh, for, for the uh, folders like uh, block libraries, tool palettes, templates, custom hatches, custom materials, link um, project files, plot styles, and so on. So anything like that, I will use folder sync. So they are already, already, always synced in all the computers. And for the main working file, I would use um, uh, download from the browser method because that way, that way I can check out and check in the main file and there is also version control. So you can see what for, go through the versions of updates and also put some comments and things like that. That is uh, how I would go through, go with this. So to do that in the, um, this is how the SharePoint looks like in the web. And in the SharePoint, uh, you can just create any um, um, group or any um, site, okay? And then um, create your folder stru structure. Um, this can be done by using MS Outlook or MS Teams. Go to the group documents and create a folder structure that replicates your current server. This can be done by uploading existing folders on the server. So you can just drag and drop um, files. You can just uh, upload the files, um, drag and drop on the, or upload the files into your projects. Once that is done, the other thing you have to do in the local computer uh, is um, then, uh, change the default um, uh, you know, location for OneDrive files. So if you, by default, it will go through your user, username and, and this location. Um, it is better to put them into like a C drive or D drive or any like a specific same drive in all the computers that doesn't change. Okay, so that every, in all the computers is synced to the same place. Um, but the problem here is, um, so this is where the default location is, and we have to change that to a C, you know, drive or D drive or the main folder. So the, the problem here is if you have already previously um, done the folder sync, then, um, and uh, use the default options, you will need to unlink your computer and then start over again. Okay, so that's a small issue will have. Uh, for other files folder, ensure you force sync. So you, by force sync means all the files are always kept on the computer. So always sync automatically. Okay, so you don't have to do anything manual. And then create a folder where you can save all your projects you'll be downloading. So you have to create like a specific folder where you will be, um, uh, will save all your files and that you will be downloading from the um, SharePoint. So there are a few things you need to set up in AutoCAD as well. So there are all these support files and then um, working support files um, locations. So these are the, uh, this you can find by going into AutoCAD options menu. Uh, so in the file tabs, all the things that have been linked to different places, you have to map those uh, new locations in there. So it only has to be done once, okay? So um, once you have done once, this whole setting can be saved into a profiles and then passed into different computers as well. So when you are working in the, uh, using browser download, you just check out the files you want to work on, download it to a preset of folder, work on the file, save it, upload the drawing and overwrite in the SharePoint, and then check in the file. That way, when you check in the version, it will be, add a new version. Um, and then um, for the link file, I found there's, um, um, for, for the drawing contains links, these should be pointed to the project since folder using the absolute path, okay? So make the path absolute. Um, since everything has the same path to the same uh, files, the links should work. So as long as the same path, the link will work. So it supports the uh, X references as well. So SharePoint um, AutoCAD project work is browser download is for the main file to check out and to check in back, okay? 
the main file is first checked out and downloaded and you just amend the drawings and upload back. Anything that is like your custom uh, fonts, custom you know, line types or custom plot styles or whatever needs to be like blocks, libraries, or whatever it needs to be, it can be synced um, into the folder, uh, into the um, into the folders, which automatically then is synced, linked to the project sync folder using absolute path. So thank you for your time. Uh, we, we do have a um, few other webinars coming up shortly. Um, we also have um, uh, AutoCAD with SharePoint on Friday as well. And also got AutoCAD with BIM360 uh, coming up. So uh, please um, register for these um, different webinars. We also have instructor-led sessions uh, coming up as well, if you want to register for those. Uh, if you want um, any of these workflow as a instructor led uh, sessions or any um, thing you want to go into detail, please let us know uh, in future. For the questions, um, for the copy of the presentation, I think it should it should come up in our Auto um, A2K Technologies um, YouTube channel. So if you go into um, YouTube uh, A2K Technologies and uh, search for the videos, uh, once the presentation is finished, uh, it, it usually comes up there uh, in a few days' time. Okay, so the, in that same location, you will get a lot of other webinars that we have done in the past. So you can always please remember to subscribe to those uh, locations and let us know. Um, so yeah, so uh, you can, can you just use OneDrive instead of SharePoint? Yeah, OneDrive should also um, work. Yeah, but it won't have this, a lot of ability that SharePoint has. Okay, so you won't have the same option uh, as SharePoint's. But yeah, one type also works. Um, the other thing is, um, if you need any of the uh, like training, or if you're looking looking to set up the whole system up in your office, uh, please contact our um, um, account. Account please contact our account managers or contact A2K Technologies um, uh, as well. Uh, let me know if there's any other questions. And also, if you have, um, if you have, if you are trying to use like um, AutoCAD on the web. Um, then yeah, you can use your uh, OneDrive or, or Ship or um, you know or, or Box or Dropbox or something like that. You can also use them as well. So any other questions? Okay, if there is no um, other questions, uh, I'll, I'll finish the webinar for today. Um, but if you have anything else, you can also always um, write to us as well. You can contact your um, account managers uh, for anything, any help you need from us in future. So thank you for your time. Bye.